everyone. Greetings from the Caprun Peak. Uh, today we will be looking at a special backpack I got from Tarino, a mountaineering backpack made out of Cotura material. So, uh, more on that in the studio. <laughs> hey, so we're back from the peak from the weekend from the Kitzsteinhorn where winter is perfect. All of you who followed the reports widely saw that there was like a really nice dump of snow. Even today here at home on Pohoria and Rogla we saw a few centimeters of snow. So winter starts off good and we used the weekend to also climb a peak and to check out the new backpack I got over the summer from Ferino. Uh, this is uh, from the new Instinct range, the Instinct 40 plus 5. There's also a 32 liter version and a really big one, a 60, 65 liter plus 50 liter version. I went for the medium version because I use it for all kinds of stuff from daily missions to maybe, I was even considering using it for a few days to replace my uh, more heavy and duty uh, mountain rescue type 50 liter backpack but um, so this is a technical mountaineering backpack it's made it weighs only 770 grams and is made out of a cordura uh, material and also from uh, Dynema super composite Dynema composite more on that later uh, what I really like about it specifically is how it carries. It's really light. You can, you basically almost don't feel it. Uh, for somebody like me who sweats a lot, it's really cool because you have this mesh plate that let, gets air through. You can remove the hip pocket. Like it has a ton of features. So, uh, without further ado, let's quickly check out some of you of them in detail. So let me just switch the camera to camera three. Okay, so we're in camera free, which is like the camera I'll be using to give you detailed looks. So uh, this backpack has a really, uh, really advanced system for carrying all your gear. There's gear loops everywhere. You can put a lot of stuff on the side. You see here, it's all made with these nice uh, hang buckles that you can just basically uh, open up with one hand. They're metallic. Mm, the materials I was talking about, it's made, it's made from Dyneema super fabric, which kind of is funny because it looks like a trash bag, but it's, it's not a trash bag, very durable material, supposedly also extremely light. Uh, in combination with classic diamond Cordura, which you can see here, and the new Cordura super fabric material, which kind of looks like the tiles on a space shuttle. I'm a little skeptical about this material, but what, what I read on the internet, it's supposed to be like super durable, so there shouldn't be any problem. Okay, now let's get more into the features. It can be opened from the front, has a little front carry, which I really like, and has a big inner compartment. It has one pocket for your camera. Ooh, you can put your little Canon in here so you can take all those cool pictures. There is another big top pocket in the back here where you can put in uh, your goggles. You can open it, see, like here in the back. Let me have you see it. Ta-da. See, it's inside here. Um, also, it has a really nice system for carrying your rope basically there is this top hinge that you open remove take your rope nicely coiled of course and put it on top get this over close it down and then you can like fold it onto the side have it hanging well whatever you like and usually just coil your rope nicer than i do god's sake <laughs> Okay, the other thing I also really liked about this backpack is how you can have your ice axes. Like, with the other backpacks I have, okay, with the exception, of course, of the upright, that you know, like the avalanche one, there was always, like, a bit of a problem with the ice axis. Now, this one has a very good system, very similar to this one. This one is an even better one, but we'll talk about this one in another video, uh, where you can just... Do it with one hand. Let me demonstrate. So, you take this, put it here, close the little loop. 
put this over, strap it in, voila, you're good to go. Another thing also when you put on both of them, when you open it up, they fold to the sides. So basically you don't need to remove or move these around anywhere if they're, even if they're like sharp one, like sharp ones like mine. And you can take them off with one hand, which is like really, really handy if you have to be like quick. See, just like zip, zip, zip. Okay. Another feature of this backpack I really like is the mesh pocket. You see now, let me show you a little bit more in detail. You have this air mesh that goes all the way back to your back plate. It's really nice. Like it's some kind of foamy plastic material. I don't know what this is. And this you can, as usual, move. There's even more gear loops here. Like the gear loop system is very complicated. And another thing that I really like is how you can put an A-frame on skis. Like you don't need to worry about it abrasing your pack in any kind of way because you have the nylon cordura and then on the side goes directly to the to the bucket so basically when your ski is in here you're not even touching the dyneema material which i was a little worried that would be more of a prudent to ripping if you put uh, basically a knife to it like ski edges okay uh one more thing that's really nice is also that you can care open it up from the top the mechanism for this is you have like these two release straps on the side one and two you open it up fold it up like this and suddenly you have five more liters of room it's all kind of water sealed so basically you just need to take this open it up and voila you have top access to the whole compartment of the backpack and inside it you can also see there are these okay first there's the uh what to do in an emergency with the helicopter signs and the whistle signs by the way you also have a whistle on it. and there's like pockets for your avalanche gear or your h2 pack um there are these side exits for the h2 bags which are on both sides on the left side and the right side so your hydration is not going to be a problem either and there's of course the top pocket which i use for goggles and stuff like that it's pretty big okay also these days you need an ffp2 mask for everything mm. and yeah you can just like close it down again fold it together see so just fold it together like this take this top strap which you can use for fixing it click and strap these two back in doesn't matter which orientation they've always they always click in so very neatly designed here also handy for single hand use one and two now i'm doing this all on the fly in real time so uh, it didn't rehearse too much about it because unfortunately i don't have that much time okay and that's it so that is in a nutshell the farina instinct 40 plus one backpack like you can I'll be testing this thing over the winter to see how it holds up in endurance tests in comparison to the other backpacks I use, like the super heavy one, heavy duty ones, because it is really light, weighs probably around 40% less than my comparable backpack, bigger, even more with the bigger one. And with all the features, the ergonomics and all that stuff, um, you can customize it, it has a lot of options, so if you like it, go check it out. You can find it at Bedino's online store, of course, like all producers, every company has an online store these days. Or you can like get it at a speciality retailer close to you. Um, and yeah, well, that's it for this video. Uh, if you liked it, let me know about it. Write me some comments so that I know what kind of content would like to see more. Uh, next thing I will be doing is going through some gloves in the next few days. And yeah, if I manage, I might finish and edit hopefully not throw down my bike <laughs> uh, and yeah thanks for watching and i will see you in the next one